Duke Dennis, man. What a great guy. That's a great guy right there. You can't even lie about it. He been putting on for his city, representing the AMP, and going crazy as an individual. Especially in the black YouTube space, because you know what's crazy right now with what they got going on. But today we're here to talk about his fans. The good ones, and especially the bad ones. And I noticed something about his fans, and it's his fans specifically that kind of had his problem. Now this ain't no hating video, this ain't nothing negative. I'm just talking about his fans. That's it. Now I think we can all agree that his fans are insane. He got some great supporters, but it's a lot of like weird niggas that just kind of lose all function and thought processes when it comes to him. Now let's talk about his community. He has a very powerful community of supporters that said like that ride or die for this man no matter what. But he's genuine to his community. That's why they love him so much. He's even been vulnerable on streams. That time he's teared up, almost cried. Sometimes he did cry. I got you something that will keep you nice and cozy in your new room. I hope you like your gifts I sent and I hope you have a great birthday. Happy birthday to a great fucking guy. an authentic streamer it's a lot of clip farming going on but Duke Dennis gonna keep it real every time I feel like a lot of people kind of lose their mind when it comes to this man like he can do no wrong in their eyes and the type of crazy fans I'm talking about is the ones that see him in person and start acting different now let's talk about this man supporters a lot of them is just regular fans that's just happy to see him they get a little excited they want they pick they take a video and they get on with their life he just made their day W supporters and most of the time, it's just a genuine interaction from the regular fans. He seems like a really great guy. That guy right there. He's, yeah, he, he seems like a great... No, him. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look. I'm no. the biggest fan of all y'all niggas, okay. bro. I can't, hey, I can't believe I'm I, looking at y'all. Don't do what I think you're going to do today. Hey, nah, but look, nah, nah. Like, you, you was out there, you said like a great guy. So yeah. if I was you, I would... Not the first two right there. The first two is women's. All right, bet. But anything over that way, up until <laughs> that wall... I, you can choose your shoe and like tell them your size and, Damn. and then like they'll bring it out. I love y'all niggas. I watched y'all for years. I thank you for this opportunity. It's him, bro. You gotta tell him, bro. Oh, like, where but he a lot of his fans are just happy to meet him in person. That's it. Now I would keep the males and females together, but y'all act totally different when it comes to this man. Next we got the cool niggas. Now the cool niggas just another form of just genuine fans. They happy to be there, they happy to meet Duke Dennis, but they not doing too much. They chilling. Cause it's a lot of people fangirling right now. They kind of sitting up back low key in the cut, waiting for their turn to take a picture. Are they happy to see him? Absolutely. But they not doing too much. They not pushing and fighting and screaming their way to be in this nigga's presence to hug up all on him just for a pic. They not dick around and doing nothing extra. They just appreciate the man for who he is and what he does. They dap him up and they go about their day. Even the females keep it cool. They happy to see him, they take their pick and they get on with their life. But more importantly, they understand boundaries and keep it respectful. This one female even asked for permission to put her hands on him. Keeping it respectful, understanding boundaries, she realizes that she's in a position where she can't just be touching on somebody that don't know her. They usually just calm, cool, and collected, and they might take their pick and get on with their life. Now the next category of fans he has is the fans that do absolutely too much. These are the ones that do everything in their power just to be seen and get some attention from Duke Dennis. Now these are the ones that's usually a little overly aggressive and forward like they know him on a personal level. And nine times out of ten, they just trying to be trolls. And a lot of times it seems like they're just trying to get to know him on a personal level because they watch him so much. So they might act like he's related to them or they already cool. These are the ones that don't know boundaries and personal space and like respect for another human being. Because in their head, they already on this level that's above everybody else that they can do that to him. Now I want to say it's mostly females, but niggas do this too. But I got a whole nother category for niggas that do too much. Even in this clip right here, this female's doing absolutely too much trying to force her way into this man's day without any concern for him or her own friends. Now where you going? Cause I don't know what you want. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got you. <laughs> 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 Give me up, man. I'm, I'm your friend. I'm, I'm still going to go back. I'm working right now. I'm watching you too, man. I know how you be doing that. 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You been saying I better pick you up, and he has never hit him up. Okay, that's that's kind of true, but but. That's true. But. Hey, you take a video. I swear, I have to put on me a phone. Okay, but. Oh. Put it in there. I'll wait on you. Okay. Don't give me that phone. I'm not. Wait, 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 I, I got it, I got it for the, but don't get my number out though. Don't get my number out. You lie. It's just overly aggressive and she forcing this man to exchange numbers. Then we got situations like this. Now they probably instructed these females to act aggressive like inmates. But what she did is out of hand. This one female sees that he's handcuffs and can't do anything about it. So she picks him up to get him on the ground and decides to ride his face. And it's so bad the other females was looking at her like she's crazy and his own friends broke character to shut it all down. But as soon as I walk in this motherfucker, they want to beat me up. She almost gave this nigga a concussion. You can see the girl on the left cover her mouth like, oh my God, you already just did that. And somebody at the bottom even tried to help him get off of the wall because he just hit his head. Now this next clip ain't really doing too much. I just thought it was funny. I ain't never in my life seen a female start pop locking for anybody. Now twerking I understand, but pop locking is insane. You know how excited you gotta be to start pop locking for somebody? <laughs> Another example of a female doing too much. I don't really know exactly what happened because they cut the clip short, but she just out of nowhere start calling this man out his name for no reason. Let's do it. Three. You want to rematch? Bitch, why you pausing? Three. Damn. 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 But you just, you just call me a bitch. But I, yeah. I'm sorry. Damn. Next, we got the other category of fans that do too much, but the male version. I'm gonna call this extra niggas. Now these fans are men that get way too excited about Duke Dennis, but not like a regular fan. Now a lot of times these are actual genuine fans of Duke Dennis and supporters, but they can't bring it to themselves to quote unquote dick ride with no license for another man. Unfortunately, this is men math. I can't be too excited about another man, especially on camera, and it's gonna be seen as dick riding no matter what. Overly excited fan plus Duke Dennis equals dick riding. Like I said, it's men math, but a lot of niggas don't wanna be in this equation, especially if cameras are going, cause they will not hear the end of it. And on top of that, it's other females around, and me as a man can't be seen being overly excited about another man, especially around the females. So what do these niggas do? They like to quote unquote establish dominance because they see themselves as equal to or greater than Duke Dennis, even though they not. It's like they get in his presence and they see him as someone that's more superior than them and that's a threat to their own ego. So they start acting crazy. And these niggas love to be super extra when it comes to Duke Dennis because they embarrassed to be a fan. But they do everything in their power to try and take the attention away from Duke Dennis by acting ignorant. They like to try and roast, try to make fun of, they try to belittle and do anything to embarrass him. Like this hating ass nigga right here. Hey, what is your vlog? I'm just pouring everything, bro. You don't understand. Like, I literally look at your videos and be like, damn, this nigga fun as fuck. Like, hey, look, man, I appreciate you it. You look like my man, but you're not my man, but you're my man. I get what you're saying, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Go ahead and shit, bro. She lying, bro. Y'all are ugly as a bitch. No, fuck you not. I'll beat your ass like that one. Don't do that. I got you, hold on. Do not do that. I'll beat your ass like that one. That's your nigga. All right, hey look, hey look, hey look, hey look, do it, then a lot of that, man. Look how ugly that is, bro. You ugly as fuck, bro. I know you ain't getting no bitches out here, bro. You see who I'm with? I'm trying to get you right. I'm only getting to do it. I'm only getting to be right, man. I know how to get my dog some hoes, man. Now imagine trying to get Duke getting some hoes because your ego crushed because the girls that you came with was all over him. And now you're trying to get Duke some hoes because your ego crushed because the girls that you came with was all over him and not you. And a lot of times I feel like these niggas take it absolutely too far. Like this dude who almost got the man hurt because his ego crushed because he losing in basketball in front of the hoes. This is premeditated ignorance. This nigga called Duke Dennis out to say, hey, come dunk on me with the intentions of grabbing his legs while he's in the air and slamming him on the ground. Not guarantee if it wasn't no cameras and people around, that would have been a full on fight. 
Then this nigga proceeds to flex like he did something. Like, oh, look how masculine I am. I'm really like that. I got my ego back. I feel a whole lot better about myself now. And it's like the one thing you don't do in basketball that you can really hurt somebody in their whole career. They try to take the power away from Duke Dennis to try to get some because of jealousy most of the time. You know how you hanging with a group of niggas and then when females come around, they start acting different. They like to try to put people in the headlock and start punching and flexing money and doing the most. This is the same situation. In this clip, this nigga says, I'm a hating ass nigga and I hate you. And he proceeds to follow him around a whole video being weird. I'm, I'm, I'm a hating ass nigga. Nah, don't, don't, don't take my girl, man. Don't, don't, don't take my girl, man. They be glazing you, bro. They be glazing me. Hey, come on, babe. 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 She'll go with you tonight. Look at her. She will go with you tonight. Hey, don't get too close, bro. You get too close. You get by her a flag. Put us in a little contest. Put us in a little contest. You gotta put me in a video, though. You gotta take us to the A. Yeah, you can put me in a video. You can have her there, bro. This nigga girlfriend just lost all respect for him and their relationship and went straight to Duke Dennis. On top of that, he just said, you can have her. Just put me in the vlog. And now they trying to be all up in the video. It's funny because RDC has a clip just like this. Oh, that was a funny ass nigga. What's up, bro? What's bro, good, what's boy? good with Shut you, bro? Man, bro, you, we, nigga, we fuck with, man, them we shit. Fuck with your shit for real. Man. But we ain't dick riding no bitch. Yeah, we ain't no fan of that ass nigga. I'm not. My fault. I was just yeah. making sure you know that. Yeah. You know that, right? I know, I know, no, 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 yeah, no. Hey. My fault. You funny in yeah. real life. Hey, you, you need to follow me on the gram for I'll real, though. Out, bro. That nigga can't, he can't do that shit, bro. You know he don't run the social media like he own, bro. That nigga got like agents and shit. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. But he can put me on a video, though. Hey. Put us in the next video. We, man, we just as funny as your bitch ass. Nah. But Duke Dennis does a really good job at ignoring this because he knows that they actually fans and they just embarrassed to be a fan. I wish a lot more fans would just tell these people to like, hey yo, chill out, you doing too much. I wish other fans would tell other fans that they doing too much and like, please calm down, like it's not that deep. Especially the females. Now last but not least, the category we have is the female crash house. These women right here are something serious, like Jesus Christ, bro. These are the ones that get tunnel vision and do anything in their power to be around, get a hug, get a picture, to get something from this man. And they usually really aggressive or really extra for no reason. They don't care about their morals. They don't care about their standards. They don't care about their relationship. They don't care about nothing. All they know is Duke Dennis and they two brain cells that's left. That's it. That's all they got. And if your girl likes Duke Dennis, you might as well wrap that relationship up because you are not who she wants, bro. Josh or Duke? Duke! 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 I'm sucking Duke's Duke. balls Duke. and everything. Duke and Duke. Go back to the other one. She know who Duke is, bro. Look at Duke! Duke. And not only do they not care about themselves and their standards and morals, but nine times out of ten, they don't care about Duke Dennis. They just want to be with him. So they'll go as far as like touching on him and borderline sexually harassing this man. Hold on, bring your face right here. Come here. What's up? Come down. Are we down. I'm, I'm trying to get level, you know what I'm saying, level with you. Okay. Okay, babe. I appreciate that right there. Funny as shit. <laughs> hey, hey, this bull is hey, evil. He's mad evil. Bruh. Let me put her mouth on me, man. I don't know where her mouth, mouth been at, man. I don't know where her mouth been at, man. And these people do not care whatsoever. Even if they boyfriend or girlfriend is standing right next to him. Because I've seen this nigga take females from females, too. Get my girl right here, too, bro. Don't take my girl, dude. Don't take my girl, dude. Don't take my girl, bro. Don't take my girl, bro. We even got a nigga begging Duke Dennis not to take his girl from him. And that same girl proceeds to ignore you and take pictures with the nigga and says, this is my man and not you. And Duke Dennis even addresses this. He says, your boyfriend is right there. She says, no, you're my man. Then she says right in front of a boyfriend that he's gonna fuck me. Then she start acting like she's sucking dick. That is not your girl no more, bro. And this nigga's so embarrassed, he can't do nothing but laugh. He even tell the nigga, you can have her. Look at his face, he is hurt. On top of that, she just hugged this man like four, five times. But like I said, all morals and self-respect gone out the window.
This woman sitting right here begging this man to grab her ass and even try to get the crowd to peer pressure him into doing so. Bro, I'm meeting great. Stop it. <laughs> Why don't you just grab me? I can't grab Say, me. everybody say grab me! Everybody in the chat say grab me! I can't grab your ass, bro. And then she basically says, put the mask on so we can have sex. But overall, I think he has an amazing community and great following. I just think a lot of them do absolutely too much when they see him and they kind of lose their mind in the process of being a fan. But overall, he is just a human being. And a lot of people need to respect his personal space and boundaries and stop being so touchy-feely all the time. Especially if I don't know you. Do not come up to me and start touching on me. On top of that, it's 2024. Everybody named Mama being exposed to all kinds of allegations and stuff from the past that you did with people. And as you can see, dude, you just don't touch nobody. My boy is not trying to get caught up in nothing because he know how y'all females be. But that's just my opinion, and I don't really know nothing.